Just how much do you drink at an after party, Edward? You know, an advocate for healthy living, 5.6 5. standard drinks. <laughs> yeah. Per hour? No, that's per sitting. And I only do. I'm just sitting here in the night, then, mate. <laughs> Three sittings in the night. Well, you've got the hot seat. You'll probably be able to get about a minute of usable footage from that. <laughs> It'll be like a minute, and then just like 30 minutes of swear words and laughter. Just dribble. <laughs> Shit, Instagram to follow at a little rate. Cheers, mate. Bit of a panic rev. <laughs> a lot of videos these days are. They just get the skip through from me. Yeah. yeah. But not free ride New Zealand TV. No, Isn't not free ride New Zealand TV. Over. Yeah. No, because it's got, you know, good, honest opinions <laughs> on everything to do with bikes and, you know, just a great insight into the world of downhill. They're coming, join you, and sit right in the middle. Welcome. Welcome. Please. Yeah, it's recording now. So. Please join us. Oh, I do want to start this off. At the, at the beginning. At the very beginning where it all started. Uh, welcome to another episode of Free Ride New Zealand TV. Uh, <laughs> we are coming to you live from Morzine with uh, the Bergamont factory racing team. Hey guys. Uh, on the left we've got Ed Masters, on the right Rupert Chapman representing New Zealand. Is he on the right though? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on my left. <laughs> uh, right is right. Full of jokers here tonight. Uh, we're just enjoying the beautiful weather here. Um, we joined the local beer, which is from Poland. Poland, yeah. Um, Sample. Celebrating the Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> Hot topic. What you can't see on the camera is behind us. We've got some uh, some Britons that have been. They look like they've country. seen a bit too much sun today as well. They have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Fort William. Let's talk about those four corners, Ed. That was a it was a big day for you with a second place qualifier. Yeah. Um, yep. How are you feeling? Qualifying in second place, first of all. I was quite ha quite happy with myself. Yeah, for one. Yeah, uh, more than exceeded e expectations <laughs> from that uh, qualifying run. Normally, I just go into uh, qualify through to the main day, but uh, to score points is a uh, it's a bit of a bonus <laughs> for me. So uh, that was the first thing that played on my mind because I'd had a bit of a crappy race at Ken. So I was like, yes, got some points, make up some ground, and then um, going to finals, I was pretty chilled out and taking it as it comes and then uh <laughs> so so walk me through it it's uh finals day everyone's down the mountain bar one you're the next one out of the gate well it was quite a surreal experience actually because um normally when i go down the hill around i don't know mid-pack there's uh <laughs> there's quite a lot of people on the course at fort william they all line the course down the uh track but uh when i went down there's basically only marshals on course because everyone's at the bottom um yeah <laughs> so so you, luckily you went, they all got to see the show that I put on. You went hard out of the gate. Mm. Uh, it was pretty spectacular to watch. Yeah. Um, I... For a short while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was all going well. It was going great. <laughs> it was this, the speed was there. Yeah. Um, managed yeah. to blitz a couple of sections and then um, just yeah. Got... I think you were in the green all the way down into corner number four. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then I was in the brown. Which is the dirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, and then you know, I tried to uh, regather and uh, carry on, but uh, adrenaline started pumping through the veins, and um, yeah, I had a quite an unfortunate, <laughs> <laughs> quite an unfortunate off-track excursion as I came into the woods. Um, yeah, to everyone who to everyone has seen that, um, my balls are actually okay. They, they was, <laughs> at no point did they actually touch the bike. I was just hovering due to my great <laughs> core strength, trying to hold it. But uh, yeah, I just parked it in the trees and I was stuck there for the next minute. So to all the people, but you got a long way off the track. Like you, your bike was. Well, it was. It was. It was. It was literally going through my head. I was like, "Oh, this is all good. I'm gonna hit a tree at some point and stop." <laughs> but there was no trees, and I just kept careering off into the bushes. So, for anyone that was lucky enough to watch it on TV, there was just like a, a still camera, and you just came into the shot, and <laughs> you went out of the shot. If you are YouTube Long Gully Downhill, Thank Long Gully DH. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you need to look up Long Gully DH crash. It's almost identical. Um, yeah, <laughs> and it. Funny enough, it actually did go through my head as I was crashing that this is exactly <laughs> what happened during the Long Alley DH crash. So remember, if the guy who was victim to the Long Alley downhill crash is out there watching this, um, I, know how, I know how you felt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A passenger. <laughs> when the, yeah, a real passenger when the bike just was, yeah, it was really taking, taking me away. 
And yeah. <laughs> Where did it take you away? Where, where did you place after that? After everything, I was actually my. I think I was 77th, which, is, to be honest, it's a plus because last the weekend before that I was 78th, so it's a step forward in yeah, the it direction. Is. Yeah, it is. With two and it's actually well. my uh, second best result at four before because I had 78th last year. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. So yeah. It's so a, in 76 years, you might be in the top 10 somewhere. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we'll get there one day. Very good. Yeah. It might take 76 years. <laughs> so let's talk about Crankworks last weekend. Uh, Montsherry downhill track. Mm. Um, let's talk about why you didn't race. Well, it's weird to be, you know, to uh, be invited to actually do be a European correspondent for three news back home and so we didn't obviously we weren't going to turn down an opportunity like that so we decided that we wouldn't actually ride our bikes that weekend and we'd more just be correspondents and course side filmers and uh, bring all the fans out there live coverage. Three news you say? Yeah. Yeah. If Hillary taking a step down I saw a gap, <laughs> bit of an opportunity I thought I'd take it. <laughs> I thought it was Rupert Chapman's mountain bike page on yeah. Facebook. It yeah. was just, it's my, going to be part of my CV. Okay, nice, mm, yeah. nice. Media works, look out. What was your total viewership for the uh, for the day? Total viewers? Yeah. Maybe 10? Yeah. In total? At once? No. <laughs> Throughout the day. <laughs> I think I think there was a high point of five when you came past me. Yeah, I was pretty sober. So one of them was Matt. Well, Walker. we were stationed up next to you for a while. Yeah, it was a good um, spot to be, It was be, one of the most, more exciting parts of the track. Um, riders often were breaking over five kilometers an hour so that was yeah that was quite riveting stuff and um yeah i think i could say that we were having a lot more fun than a lot of riders on the course yeah i like that everyone actually sure. took the time to stop and talk to you as they came past on their race roads <laughs> as well and I, i'd like to think that we actually helped a few riders because um you know telling them which lines to take having seen the the, the plethora of ruts um yeah Really helped Casey across that uh, jump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was a good day at Cranwick's Zero. Yeah. I like the yeah. fact we've got a studio audience yeah. tonight. Mm. Um, Canned laughter. Yeah. Outdoors <laughs> with a studio audience <laughs> and alcohol as well. <laughs> this is working great. Mm. The production quality of tonight's episode is going to be f on point. You just swore too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> throwing out f -bomb. So uh, moving forwards, let's talk about Lenzerheide. Rupert. Give me your top three picks for uh, for Lens or Hider. Um, top three picks. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Number one. I'm gonna go with Greg again. Greg Minard. He's been kind to me lately. Picked him at uh, Fort William. I think my three now. Yeah, it's pretty tough. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go. It's gonna be a wild card. And it's gonna be Angel Suarez. Oh, that is going to be real dusty. He did well last year. He did well last year. Good in the dust. Good track record. Apparently, you don't say his name, Angel. 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 <laughs> it is a Spanish expert. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Angie. Angie. <laughs> yeah. And then third. <sighs> oh, just dropped my gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, this has gotten violent. I guess it's. Uh, Jack Redding then, shoot him at Gavin. Oh yeah. It's a sign. It is definitely a sign. <laughs> Jack Redding to Looking for a big result mate. Shoot him at Gavs. Yeah. Just put that back on the table. Uh, top three from me. I'll go for, hmm. we'll go from the bottom up. Yeah. So in third place. Yeah. I've been pretty, feeling pretty fast lately. I'm going to go for Aaron Gwynn. Ooh. Nice. Second place. Um, Are you Conor, Conor Fearon. Yep, yeah, wise call. Was he? He was on a fire last year. Yeah, he probably would have won last nice. year. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. And then fastest oh, is going to be George Brennigan. Oh, yes. <laughs> because yeah, there's going to be a ridiculous gap that only he does. <laughs> yeah. And he's not even going to know that he was the only one doing it. <laughs> I'm calling it, and okay. it's going to be inside of the finish, and it will entail him gapping like over a bridge. And he thought that was the jump <laughs> that everyone was doing. And yeah. that will take him to victory. He'll yeah, shave he'll, off two seconds. Yeah, he'll he'll on, like, on angels. He'll go from uh, he'll go from two down at split three, yeah. and then be up by three. This is the most 
in-depth uh, pick that I've ever had. And he'll get Ooh. down and again he'll say, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> and that kind of segues us into the topic of George Brannigan. Um, <laughs> who who is moment. probably going to, in a week's time, he is going to have two awards. Very coveted awards of having the best World Cup run in history and the worst one. <laughs> Could you tell us more about the worst run in history? George Brannigan, Wyndham 2015. <laughs> I'll play this again, just for people that haven't watched it already. Four crashes, gets to the bottom, doesn't know what the f happened. <laughs> but my salty language there. Is it a problem? Oh my word! Even now, out of control, I was just gonna say. Spectators from him. Oh, he goes down again! <laughs> Got you one coming up. Oh, oh my word! <laughs> um, mild concussion, Last probably. Mm. Oh, definitely a concussion. So those are the top three picks from Men's Five. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Now you got to do the woman's idiot, of course. Oh, there is okay. another woman's kid. Um, so Rachel, she's going to boss it out with her 11th World Cup win. Hopefully, uh, second place will be. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to back Morgan Shah. Why'd you say hopefully? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just going to back her because she's coming off a win. Flat pedals. It's going to be dusty. She's going to be hanging foot. Yeah. And then. Um, Third place, I'm going to go Veronique Sandler. She's been doing a lot of training with her training partner, Bernard Kerr. And uh, yeah, is this something looks more going like, on looks, there? looks to be. I, I feel like you're insinuating something, Ed. She would have expand on that. It's hard to say. It's hard to... What does the next fastest female rider need to do to beat Rachel Atherton? She's well, Rachel fast. was really good. Um, if you. If you rode down the course at the speed that Rachel like, wins her races at, you're going real fast. Mm. <laughs> like you actually are. <laughs> like, it I, might be like, I don't know if you're being patronising. No, it, <laughs> it might be like, yeah. Burped. But, uh, yeah, you can't take anything away from the fact that she's going real fast. Yep. Uh, thoughts on G Atherton becoming a rally driver? Fair enough. It's pretty fun driving fast. Yeah. Good enough money. Yeah, I guess it's stuff. like you get a Red Bull helmet and then a few years later you get a rally car. Like Seminac does it. He does too, doesn't mm. he? Yeah. That means Brooke must be next. Yeah. Yeah, I think Brooke would, Brooke's rally career would burn out rather quickly due to financial stress. Yeah. Due, due to the fact that he has to fix his car after every drive. He would definitely be a favourite. Yeah, he, yeah. Mm. If he was on the WRC, he'd be a favourite. He'd be like the Colin McRae. Dead. Yeah, <laughs> either dead or just going <laughs> real, real fast. Yeah. Uh, so um, coming to Lenza Hada, if you had to place yourselves, where do you reckon? Mm. Uh, anywhere in front of Eddie. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with. Oh, it's real hard. Isn't it? Well, how did you go last year? Uh, I, I, look I got 11th up. last year. 11th? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So, you know, I'd be looking for a 9th or an 8th. Yeah. Ninth or an eighth. But then to go from 11th, you can, e you can either go back, you can go up to about 8th or 9th, or you can go back to 20th in the same top, same amount of time. It's a very pragmatic way of looking at it. Yeah, because I was on, well, at, at Lens of High last year, I was on the lucky end of a good second. Yep. Whereas if you were a second behind me, you could be, you were back in like 19th. Shit. But then it had I gone a second fast in um, eight. Top ten. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go conservative and go hopefully around fifteenth. Fifteenth? Yeah. Oh, so cool. Rupert's going fourteenth. Yeah. Anything in front of Eddie. It's always a good day. <laughs> And that will be the start of the next episode. What? I'll just, the quote will come out yeah. again when he says that he's going to beat you. <laughs> Either way. You can do two, two takes if you want with if, that. If he I doesn't, <coughs> no, you can't have a more humble one. <laughs> Wait, will you just say again, you're like, actually, no, I think I'll come behind him. And then either way, it's going to be, if nah, he beats you, then you'll be like, confident. I'm going to beat him. You, yeah, all right. I'm on a bit of a streak at the moment. You are, you're on a hot oh, no, streak. Three in a row. Three in a row. <laughs> Well, you are out there. You're a New Zealand front. national champion, aren't you? Yeah. Mm. So technically, you should be the fastest New Zealander up there. I think I was too. Mm. Uh, yeah, I beat you were, yeah, I you were. You were. I think I was. Yeah. National champion was <laughs> <There you go. laughs> stamping his authority on the field there. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah but you were also fa uh, second fastest qualifier at Fort William. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let that go. That was, no, that was yeah. a big moment for New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. it was a huge made, moment. Made three news and one news. Did it? No. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. Could do though. Yeah, no, it was a real, a real defining moment yeah. for New Zealand as a country. It was just, you know, Kiwi can fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lentil has a sweet place, it's like a lake. Why does everyone say that? It's near a town called Chur. <laughs> Dad will pull me up on. Yep. It's called Core. Because no, it's, um, it's mint when you can just like finish your, finish your run, jump in the lake, have a swim. <laughs> Go fishing. What else are you doing? A lake, Eddie? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, go fishing. Maybe get a boat out. Yeah, rowing. <laughs> um, and are you still doing the dirt TV thing? Mm, no, nah, not really. I just, I just said I'd do it for them that one time because when it sacked them off for pink bike. Uh, but uh, I didn't really want to do the uh, Eddie TV because it's too similar to Wind TV. Yeah. Yep. I didn't really want to. I prefer just to finish the race and have a beer rather than chase people around for interviews. Yeah, but it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tune if I'm in the hot seat, tune in to Eddie Masters MTV. Yeah. Put your phone in your pocket, like go live at the start of the yeah. round and put it in your pocket. <laughs> just have it running live. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. So I think that's a plug. Follow Eddie Masters MTV. Yeah. And Rupert Chapman MTV yeah. Yeah. on Facebook. And um, at Surfing is for Losers on Instagram. <laughs> and I'm at Kook Slams. <laughs> They're just two good sites too. <laughs> You're plugging other people's sites? <laughs> yeah, because they're real good. They're real funny. good Instagrams. Kook Slams and Surfing is for Losers. Um, and then I'd have to plug Jerry the day. Yeah, definitely. Yeah.